Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing another talking video about why you don't need to get married. Marriage is this like big thing that has to be done and if you're not married then you know you're, you're just unlovable or whatever, all that bullshit. Basically, my point here is that getting married doesn't equal devotion or love or loyalty. We have all heard stories about people getting married and then having an affair or, you know, getting married and then finding out that their partner never actually really felt the same about them. Choosing to get married or choosing to not get married doesn't make you more or less loved than you are. If you choose to not get married, you are still loved equally as much as someone who chooses to get married. Even if you marry someone, that does not mean you are loved more than someone who chooses not to. Just because someone chooses to not get married does not mean they're scared, does not mean they don't believe in love, all of these things, it, it doesn't mean anything. It probably means that they don't want to conform to society standards where we get told that the most purest form of love is sharing all of your money, sharing your house, sharing all of your, all of your life with this other person, but legally. You're legally binded together. Society has put inside our brains, especially women, we are constantly told that we are here to perform. We're here to, you know, take care of the kids. We're, we're, we're just there as like a, you know, a trophy. Yes, of course, if you choose to get married, that is still a beautiful thing. It can be a beautiful thing, but it is not a be all end all. You do not have to get married to be satisfied. And the thing is, people constantly change. Circumstances change all the time. The only way you will ever be fully comfortable is when you realize that anything can change at any time. Nothing is certain. If you love someone, you should have enough, you should be displaying that love enough that that person doesn't need you to do that as in you know, propose and get married, they shouldn't need to do that to show how much they really love someone. If you really love someone, you will do everything possible to show them that you love them and you don't need to do that to show them your love. Now, let's for a second think about best friends. You love them, you understand them more than anyone else, they understand you more than anyone else, you would do anything for them, you can say anything, whatever. Would you marry them? Probably not. So you wouldn't marry your best friend, but you still know that you love them and they love you more than anyone on the earth. Basically, what I'm trying to say is I don't need to marry my best friend to let her know how much I really love her. Now, that is basically all I have to say. And my final note is marriage is literally just a social construct. It is not real. Marriage is not real. We made this thing up. It is a social construct. Therefore, marriage is not love. Love is love. And no, I'm not shitting on people who decide to get married. If you want to get married, that's on you. That is your decision. You do still have a choice, which is great. Let's not even go there. All I'm saying is that just because you are not married, it does not mean that you are loved any less.